to my channel. Hello kids! I'm your teacher Zell. Welcome to Science Class, Part 2, Week 1, Day 2. Our learning objective, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to compare and estimate the size and weight happiness of object using observations from sight and touch. Are you ready, kids? Let's begin with this part 1, multiple choice. Write the letter of the correct answer. Use capital letters only. For items number 1 to 3, look at the illustrations below. Leaf A, Leaf B, and Leaf C. 1. Which of the following best describe Leaf A? A. It is round. B. It is heart shaped. C. It is long and thin. What is your answer, kids? It's letter B. Good job, kids! For number two, which leaf is long, narrow, and pointed? A. Leaf A B. Leaf B and C. Leaf C What is your answer, kids? Yes, it's letter C. Good job, kids! Yay! Or number three, which leaf look like the one circle in the drawing? A. Leaf A. B. Leaf B. C. Leaf C. What is your answer, kids? It's letter B. Good job, kids! For item part 2, refer to the plan presented by your teacher. Write your answer to the following questions briefly. 4. What is the color of the leaf? 5. Is the leaf smooth or rough? know if something is heavy or light without using a weighing scale or a tool. Understand that we can estimate size and weight using our senses of sight and touch act just as they observe the leaves. Engaging questions to spark curiosity. Have you ever picked up a big bug and felt it was very light? Possible answers may be yes 
One time, I picked up a big shopping bag, but it was empty, so it felt very light. Possible answer? Yes. One time, I picked up a big shopping bag, but it was empty, so it felt very light. Have you ever held a small object that was surprisingly heavy? Possible answer? Yes! I pick up a small stone on the street and it was heavier than I expected. Another possible answer? Yes! I once held a small metal object and even though it was small, it felt really heavy. In this lesson, we will learn how to compare the size and weight of objects. We will use our sense of sight and touch to estimate whether an object is big or small, and heavy or light. We will also try fun activities to explore how objects can have different weights, even if they look similar in size. Understand the meaning of the following words. Heaviness means something weight a lot like this rock. It is not easy to lift. Two, identical. Means two things look exactly the same, like these bananas. Balance means something is steady and equal on both sides, like this seesaw. The weight on both sides is the same, so it stays straight. Four, estimate means making a good guess about something like how many candies are in this jar. Five, compare means to look at the two things and see how they are the same or different, like calamansi and aguapa. How can we tell if something is big or small, or heavy, or light? Can we use our eyes, hands, or how it feels when we hold it? Let's proceed now to our activity. Before we proceed, save the precaution first. Keep the work area clean before, during, and after the activity. Never taste anything unless told to do so by the teacher. If in doubt, ask the teacher for clarification. Report any accident to the teacher. Activity sheet for week 1 day 2 science process skills activity number 2 
which object is bigger and heavier. Materials needed for group data notebook. Per class, two different set of objects with varying sizes and weight and heaviness. We have here a stone A, B, C, D, and E. Next, we have here a leaf A, B, C, D, E. Part A. Part group. Perform the task in each station within the allotted time. 2. Write your answer in your group notebooks following the table format below. We have station number 1 and 2, arrangement from smallest to largest, and in the third column we have arrangement from heaviest to lightest. Present two objects with the following characteristics smaller but heavier object and a bigger but lighter object. A small rock and large dried leaf. Thus, bigger always means heavier. Bigger does not always mean heavier. For example, the large dried leaf is bigger but lighter than the rack. Heaviness can be measured manually for small objects but more accurately using measuring tools like a balance like what you see in the picture. Following are the station set up and guide questions. Station 1 and Station 2. Sight or sense of sight. You can estimate the size, small or large, of the object using your eyes. Through the sense of touch, you can also estimate whether an object is light or heavy. Point out that weight is a more precise scientific term that can be used to denote the heaviness of objects. Can we always say that bigger objects are heavier? Why or why not? Possible answer for the question? No, bigger objects are not always heavier. Some small objects like rock can be heavier than bigger objects like a balloon. The weight of an object depends on what it is made of, not just its size. estimate an object size and weight. Present the following sentence as a clue. We can estimate object size and weight by using our blank, particularly the sense of sight in blank. Answer is sense and touch. Good job kids! help us compare the size of objects. Our hands help us feel if something is heavy or light. Estimation is useful when measuring tools are not available. Ready for the evaluation, kids? Yay! We have here a Miss 
misteryosong bayong or a mysterious basket. This basket contains five objects with different sizes and weights. This object can be vegetables and fruit that are readily available in your community. Five volunteers to reach the object inside the mystery basket without cooking or without looking rather. They can be blindfolded. Let them describe the estimate size and weight by comparing each one. They must arrange the object from smallest and lightest to largest and heaviest as the two place their arrangement on the table. Learners who are not blindfolded can write their answer in their notebook based on the description given by their classmates. Briefly review the activity and ask was it easy or difficult to estimate without seeing? Did the biggest object feel the heaviest? Good job kids! Thank you for listening! See you next time!